following content is based on my opinion only and I'm not being paid or sponsored by any manufacturer or supplier for this video. My first attempt was to drop LED lights into the standard reflector housings. As you can see here, the light output just isn't that great. Then I updated the headlight assemblies to the Spider X-Tune projector headlights with the standard halogen bulbs that they came with. Then I replaced them with the Sylvania Silver Star ZXE bulbs in the Spider X-Tune headlights. It's an improvement, but not that great. Then I tried a set of MIC tuning LEDs from Amazon, which had a 4.5 user rating. I thought these would be good. Turns out to be not so much. And lastly, I installed the Xenon Depot Extreme HID kit. And you can see here, it's a world of difference. Hey guys, The Wood Craftsman here. I'm doing a quick night drive with a full review of a Xenon Depot's Extreme HID kit that I installed on this 2014 GMC Sierra 3500 HD Denali. Um, as you know, my quest has been since I've got this truck a better um, lighting and um, I went through the work of installing aftermarket projector headlights from Spider X to them. They purchased through Car ID. Got some mixed results on them, but what I have to say is after I installed this HID kit, I think I have the best performance out of these projectors that I can ask for. Uh, long story short, I have tried um, LEDs and I've tried high performance halogens and neither one of those really does anything like this HID kit. As you can see here, it just lights up the road. The one thing I'm going to tell you right now is the disappointment in these projectors is I kind of have them maxed out as far as distance. Um, I'm still going to have them professionally aligned to make sure I'm not missing something. It may be that the one side needs to be shimmed. But from what I can tell you right now, this HID kit definitely lights up the road. And I've been driving this truck now with the HID kit kit in for the last week or so, I've been driving you know, a little bit at night, you know, several times a week into traffic, and I have yet to have anybody flash me their high beams. So as far as being too bright, not so much an issue. Um, this is a 35 watt kit, but because of the color temperature I'm using here, which is a 4300K, which I'll talk about shortly, um, it's about 3100 lumens, which is about two and a half times brighter than the standard 55 watt halogen. So, as you know, I was kind of hesitant in the past videos about dropping an HID kit in just because of, you know, there's a little more, some, a little bit more sophisticated, not as simple as an LED or a, a high performance halogen. But what I have to tell you is I'm extremely satisfied with how this HID kit is performing. Um, one of the biggest problems I had with the LEDs that I tried was shadows. Um, one kit had significantly um, shadow right in the med middle of the light pattern and the other one had shadows kind of over the fog line and the center line. And I just realized that it just, I wasn't happy with that. Um, I talked to the guys at Xenon Depot and they had given me a recommendation that hey, you know what? Uh, HID kits typically will outperform and succeed a high performance halogen. So if you're not really happy with a high performance halogen like what I try with the Sylvania Silver Star, try an HID kit, you're not going to regret it. Um, and I was right, they were right. Um, this is a significant improvement over the Sylvania Silver Star ZXEs. It's a wider light, it's brighter, it lights up the road. The two shadows I had with the LEDs and the cheap halogens and the Silver Star, uh, uh, Sylvania Silver Star ZXEs, they have been minimized so much. They're still there, but they're nowhere near um, as noticeable as what they were with any other ball. So, the HID kit does come with a little cost, but if you think about it, it's kind of like a one-time investment. Um, long story short, 
it, it is a plug and play for the most part. The only difference is with an HID kit, especially the extreme um, HID kit from Xenon Depot, is they do not take power directly through your vehicle's wiring harness because an HID kit typically has high inrush current. They actually take power directly from your vehicle's battery and use the original OEM bulb wiring harness to trigger a relay kit to um, basically make your um, lights fire the way they're supposed to. So when it comes to, you know, kind of safety and peace in mind, um, an HID kit really is um, not going to add any harm to your vehicle's electrical system because you're just using the bulbs um, wiring harness to trigger a relay. So you might be asking what's a relay? Well basically a relay is a, is a switch that is designed to take um, the higher load or the higher inrush current so your vehicle um, doesn't have to take it in this case. So like I said it comes with a cost but you know I think with the canvas setting everything it'd be about uh, $175, $180 bucks, somewhere around there. But you got to remember that that's an initial investment for the ballast, the relays, the igniters, and the bulbs. And should the bulbs fail, they're probably around, I, I want to say they're about $20 to $25 um, to replace the bulbs. Like I said, the initial cost is the hardware, but to have a ballast failure or a relay failure is probably um, very slim. So I spent a lot of time talking to the guys at Xenon Depot and uh, they have given me a huge um, understanding as far as LED versus HID and the, the tricks that they've learned with both. And what I can tell you is if you're thinking about dropping an LED kit into a reflector housing, you might want to think twice about it. It's just not really that great of an idea. Now, I know a lot of people are doing it, and people are going to write comments down below that, no, I've done it before, it works fine. Yes, it works, but the thing is, it's not being courteous to other drivers. Um, it's just, you know, and you just don't have the output. Same with an HID kit, dropping an HID kit into reflector housings, not really that great of an idea because of how bright they are. It's just blinding to oncoming traffic. If you're going to do it, do it in a projector housing, whether it's an aftermarket from Spider or Anzo or Spec Detuning or Oracle or, or whichever one you want. Um, you're going to have much better performance out of it. You're going to have more control of your light and you're going to have a wider pattern. So kind of keep that in mind. If I could give any advice on um, headlights, I'd definitely need to just take a serious look at a decent projector. What I will tell you, and this is a little bit of my rant, this truck I installed the Spider X2 projector headlights, and um, you know I was really disappointed with you know the high performance halogen, and really disappointed with you know some of the LED lights I tried. And after talking to some manufacturers of LED lighting and other lighting, um, they had told me that the optics that Spiders uses aren't really all that great that there's a lot of lumen or light loss. Um, when I talked to the guys at Xenon Depot, they couldn't really claim that they knew anything about that, but what they did tell me was that when it comes to LED lighting is that it's extremely directional and depending on how the projector is designed, it may or may not work. So in my case, um, LED lighting in a these projectors did not work that well. So I had a couple nasty shadows with one set and another set that I had um, really um, just wasn't that great. So, but overall, I have to say I'm extremely impressed with this kit. Um, we'll talk real briefly about color temperature and then I'm going to kind of cut this video short because not everybody wants to listen to me talk about lighting, but long story short, when you look at color temperature, if you want the best bang for your buck and the most lighting out of your bulbs, try to stick with a light that is between four and 5,000 K. Headlight bulbs are, re are, are, the color temperature is rated in Kelvin units, or Kelvin. Um, 
a lot of vehicles out there. You know, like the Ford Explorers, the Ford F-150s, the Chevy Silverados, the GMC Sierras. They're running a color temperature probably around 8,000 K, which gives you more of that blue, a little bit of hint of purple look. It's a very cool looking light, but it's not very effective. So kind of keep that in mind. The most effective light temperature is between four and 5,000 K. This set I'm running here is actually a 4,300 K. And if you buy from Xenon Depot, when you choose your bulb color, it'll actually tell you what the lumen output is for the color temperatures. Um, and in this case here, um, 3000 K, which is more of a really yellow color, I want to say it was like 2900 or something. And then the 4300 K was 3100. And then if you go to the more advanced 4300K, which is a Phillips ball, it was 3200. And then when you get back all the way up to 8000K, um, you start getting around that 25, 2600, uh, or 20, 2600K. Uh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. 8000K, you're on that 2600 lumens. Okay. So long story short, the higher the Calvin, the less lumens. That's kind of how I can summarize it for you in a nutshell. So I got myself twisted up a little bit, but hopefully you guys understood it. But anyways, I'm not getting paid from Xenon Depot for this review. It's just an honest review that I did on bulbs that I purchased from them. And I just wanted to kind of spread the, or share the, uh, you know, share this with others out there who might be looking for uh, a new um, headlight for their vehicle. So. I hope this helped you guys out in choosing lights, um, but definitely give those guys a call. They're very nice and knowledgeable, very friendly people to work with, and um, if anything, you'll learn a lot because I definitely got a, a, a much better education on an HID kit that I was kind of putting off because I just was didn't want to deal with it. I just thought it'd be too much, but I wish I would have done it. So. And you can just kind of see here how it just, you know, lights up the, the road here. So. Alright guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it wasn't too boring. But I just wanted to share this with you guys that, you know, this is HID kits. Um, you know, for somebody like myself who is really looking at LED. Um, I had to take a step back and just take a serious look at HID and I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got this one because uh, it by far um, outdoes any of the LEDs I've tried. So, Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Questions and positive comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.